Hey, it's Meredith from the world famous C Fox, and we're sitting with Jason from Death Cab for Cutie. Thank you so much for coming by and uh, doing this interview with us. Oh, I'm excited. It's close to home. <laughs> yeah, it is very close to home with you guys just being from Bellingham. Tell me the story behind Kintsugi. What is it? I have the actual, the art of embracing damage in Japanese. What made you guys choose so, that? Kintsugi is a Japanese art form where they take gold resin and they repair broken pottery or ceramics with the gold resin to sort of highlight the cracks in in the breakage. Okay. So the philosophy being that like why hide why hide fractures from the past? Why right. not highlight them and make them beautiful um, rather than try to hide them? And it's just a something that Nick 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 Harmer, uh, the bass player in Death Cab, is just constantly poking around looking for things in the world of art that that inspire him and he came across some footage of this old man doing kintsugi repair and he forwarded this youtube clip to the band and he was just he just was like check this out it's cool i just thought i'd share it with you guys fast forward to sort of tying up loose ends with the record and having it being almost done and we had yet not really begun to talk about titles occasionally it ends up being a song on the record sometimes not but the idea of Kintsugi came back into the mix because of, uh, you know, obviously, you know, people have been through a lot of changes in their lives in the last, you know, few years and um, some public, some private more, but um, there was a lot of breakage and repair and um, some people think that it had to do with the fact that we, we lost founding member Chris Walla, but that, that had nothing to do with titling the record that way. It's just, it was... That was something that happened after we came up with the title and the, the record was done. Right. But, you know, whether you're talking about the lyrics or the way that, you know, an album gets sort of written, broken down and put back together, um, the, the metaphor seemed to work for several, you know, things like mm -hmm. personal lives, music, band, you know, historically, everything. Now, you guys are busy right now doing the tour with Metric, the Lights on the Horizon tour. How did this come to be? How did you guys decide to hook up and do this? Um, Metric just asked um, if it was something we would be interested in doing, and, and uh, both bands have been around about the same amount of time, mm -hmm. about the same number of records in the catalog. You know, generally all the same age. Like it just they're, you know, peers and contemporaries that we respect, and we had not yet done a proper tour in Canada, um, and it, it just kind of made a lot of sense, and we had a hole in our schedule and majority of what we've been doing is our own tours and headlining and carrying things you know for over yeah. the course of the last 12 months at least um, and it was really nice to think of just going out and sort of supporting metric on this tour and um, everything's been even you know we've gotten along famously I mean it's it's been excellent probably the best you know package tour I've ever been a part of I think so, and I think that uh, there would be a lot of overlapping audiences too. I know. I think so. You yeah. know, my my own CD collection is filled with like you guys and Metric, and I've seen both of you guys live separately before, and so yeah, there's a, there's a, a nostalgia thing too because, like you said, you guys have both been around for so long. It it works, and I mean, I feel like we could cover one of their songs, and they could cover one of ours, and it wouldn't it wouldn't come across as strange at all. One of the cool parts about festivals is all the other bands that are there, as well as you guys. Who are you most excited to see? Festivals are great because you you don't get to. I, I don't go out and see a lot of music when I'm not on tour. I'm yeah, just like I'm staying home for a while. So when you can bang it all into one day and see people that you're great friends with, or that you maybe have done tours with, like this metric scenario, I'll bump into them, you know down the road it's it's always fun it's a big hang backstage you know and I think the festival mentality is everyone knows that anything can happen so right. you don't know if monitors are gonna work they're not gonna work you don't know if your crowds gonna be huge small it's gonna be raining you know you have no idea so I think that everyone goes into it with a like do or die mm -hmm. sort of attitude and people really throw down and I love festivals Awesome. Well, thank you again so much for taking the time to talk to us. Of course. Thanks. I got to run to a sound check anyway. Yes. <laughs>